A record breaking summer in the Wiregrass heating up because of several homes going up in flames. Families without a roof over their heads while dealing with triple digit temperatures. Could the excessive heat be connected to the rash of fires? Three houses were destroyed recently and several other structure fires have been reported. This is happening while we're going through a scorching summer. And some are wondering if the two are connected to each other. One fire department, however, is putting those theories to rest. WDHN's Christian Jones is in Dothan with the latest All New at 6. After multiple fires have popped up around the Wiregrass area, some wonder if the scorching heat wave is the cause of the problem. Over the past few weeks, the Wiregrass area, as well as majority of the U.S., has been greatly affected by a massive heat wave, with the Circle City temperatures hitting triple digits for the first time back in late June. Over the past couple of months, there have been at least seven structure fires to pop up around the Wiregrass, with at least three occurring in Dothan. On July 4th, a Dothan home was destroyed after catching on fire, the intensity of the flames causing damage to more than five surrounding homes. On Tuesday, a fire that destroyed a Malvern barn also caused minor damage to a nearby home. With the wiregrass being in the midst of a scorching heat wave, some wonder if the heat is playing a factor in the fires. But one Dothan fire official is debunking that theory. No, not really. What, what we see mostly because of environmental heat, if you will, the summertime heat is outdoor fires, like grass fires. So it could uh, spread to a house, but that typically, no, it does not have an impact on, on the intensity of the fire or the fire starting. Etheridge says that while the intense heat does not play a factor in structure fires, it is greatly impacting his team. As first responders deal with putting out fires, they also have to deal with the sun bearing down on them while they wear pounds and pounds of gear. Such conditions are able to put anyone at risk of heat-related illnesses, so Ether says the station takes extra protocol to keep everyone safe. We, we shorten our work rest cycles. Um, rather than working a long period and a very short break, we'll, we'll balance that out a little more to allow our members to, to recover what we call rehab. The Dothan Fire Deputy says that so far he has not had any of his workers suffer from heat-related illnesses. He also reminds his team to hydrate throughout the day and look out for others while in the field. Deputy Ether says that while the heat wave does contribute to open field fires and not structure fires, he does want to remind the community that open field burning is prohibited in the area. In Dothan, Christian Jones, WDHN News for the Wiregrass.